A couple of days ago, I made a video where I completely destroyed flat earthers. And on that video, there was a guy arguing that space isn't actually real. And I promised him that I will make a video where I completely destroyed that. So in this video, I'll be showing you how space is actually real. But without anything further to do, let's get started. last video, I said that there were 700 quintillion planets, and NASA has been alive for 62 and a half years. So if they CGI'd every single planet, then they would have to CGI 369 million planets every second till right now. But uh, I was actually wrong, because quintillion has uh, more zeros than what I put into my calculator. So that number is uh, actually bigger than 369 million. So uh, what that guy said is uh, that everything in the universe is uh, copy-pasted. And what I think that that guy was trying to say is that only the things that we can see with our eyes are actually real. And everything else is just a copy paste of that exact same thing. So we can see 4% of the entire universe. And 4% of the entire universe is 28 quintillion planets. And to check this, you can actually go to some rural place and see the night sky with your own two eyes. But anyways, if we divide 28 quintillion with the right number of zeros with how long NASA has been alive, then it would come out to 14.8 billion planets CGI every second till right now. So that's a lot. But something else that this guy says is that Every single planet is a dot. So uh, let me also just disprove that. Because everything is a dot, the computer could easily do that. But uh, there's a one problem. Where would it store it? Because uh, 700 quintillion dots isn't a small number. It's actually a very large number and it is on screen right now. Well, if we store these dots on the extra drive DC100 hard drive, which is a hard drive that can actually store 100 terabytes, then how big do you think that will be? How many hard drives do you think will be stacked on top of each other? Well, that hard drive would be the size of the volume of the Earth. So it would literally be impossible to store all of that. And remember that this is all just tiny dots using your logic. So I don't know what you have to say about this. And if you say that they have a really a massive hard drive, then, well, the computer also has to be really big to process all of that information because 700 quintillion isn't a small number. It's a very large one. And this is not considering that we don't have enough resources on Earth to make that big of a hard drive. But let's backtrack a little bit. So when I was arguing with this guy, I told him that I will make a video where I show that all of the planets are actually real. But I decided not to do that because even if everything was a dot, it would still be impossible to store. But anyways, let's get on with the video. 
So the known universe is only a point of four percent of the entire universe. So if the entire universe, if NASA faked the entire universe with just dots for every single planet, then the hard drive would be as big as one third of Saturn. And Saturn can fit 700 Earths. So that means that the hard drive would be as big as 250 Earths, which is as big. And when I say big, I mean just giant. Something else is that they would have to make our entire universe. And NASA takes new pictures of every single planet every couple of months. So as you can see, this is Earth. And they take new pictures of this like every few months. But this is not it. Because on Google Maps, there are all of these planets and moons. So let's go to our moon right over here. And as you can see, there is a lot of detail. You can just zoom into this. And this will take a couple months to make. Then right after they make this, then they would have to make a new picture. And they would also have to do other planets like Mars. So this is a Mars right here. And as you can see, it's basically the same thing. Just a crazy number of detail. And that's the exact same thing with all of these planets and moons. Like, look at this. Europa, this is a moon of Jupiter's. And as you can see, there is just a ton of detail. And everything is where it's actually supposed to be. And if you look at this using a telescope, then you can see that this is how this moon actually looks. And you can actually see the International Space Station. And from the International Space Station, you can actually see Earth. So here is the Earth. Right here, as you can see, this is just the internal of the International Space Station. And there is everything. As you can see, it would be impossible to CGI new things every couple of months. And I don't know how flat Earth is actually explain that because they haven't given me a reasonable explanation. So if you're a flat Earther, I really hope that you have realized that you were kind of dumb a couple minutes ago. But anyways, that's the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, then make sure to drop a like and to subscribe to my channel because that will really help out the YouTube algorithm. But uh, until next time, I'm Shree.